weekend as Real Madrid and Barcelona will be in action. Not against each other, but as you can see, Ian Dark and Steve McManaman with that lovely backdrop in Bilbao right now because on Saturday it is athletic against Real Madrid. Guys, let me ask you then, and I'll start with you, Ian, what are you going to be looking out for from this Real Madrid side in this first game? What's piqued your interest ahead of it? Well, how they cope, first of all, without the man who scored over 300 goals for them, Karim Benzema, they don't have him anymore. They're going to play Vinicius and Rodrigo as a front two and a, a four-man diamond behind. And, of course, a big sell point of this game is Jude Bellingham, the big signing. How does he change the dynamic of Real Madrid? And, of course, they've lost the goalkeeper as well, Courtois. Mm. So, you know, Lunin's going to go in goal the Ukrainian this time. Will they sign David De Gea? There are all kinds of angles and drama, and we, we haven't even kicked off with Real Madrid uh, this season but I'm fascinated to see mm. the difference Bellingham does make to them. Mac are you tipping them for the title? You know at this moment in time Kay I'd probably say Barcelona are slight favourites I'm with Ian. Uh, you know, the, the signings of, of, of Duke Bellingham coming in is a brilliant signing. Of course, it is. He's, a, he's a youngster. Being an Englishman, we're all, you know, eager to watch him and hope that he does incredibly well. But, you know, Fran Garcia, Brahim Diaz, you know, Jose Lu up front to replace Benzema, that is not enough for Real Madrid. If Kylian Mbappe walks through the door next week, hey, I'm changing my mind. Of course I am. <laughs> But at this moment, when I'm looking at the two sides and this awful injury to Courtois, which will probably keep him out for the whole season because he's been amazing these last couple of years when he's needed to be, I'd probably put Barcelona as slight favourites and it pains me to say that, but I probably would. It's difficult when you lose, you lose players. You book in the side with a quality goalkeeper, as Shaka has said, best in the uh, world for the last two years. No, no doubt about it. Uh, and then carrying Benzema up front and you haven't replaced them, you're not able to replace the goalkeeper, you might go before the end of the transfer window and get the hair. You know, yesterday we mentioned Kayla Navas on the show, who's back at PSG, but his surplus to requirements was on loan at Forest last year in the Premier League. But the big one is the match winner up front. I mean, Lewandowski, that's one of the reasons that Bassa went out and, and pursued Lewandowski, was to give them that experience and that quality. And as Maka said, and when I did my prediction, as you know, I didn't. It was before Courtois got injured, and I, I was basing my uh, my title winners as Real Madrid and the fact that Mbappe's going to walk through the door, and that potentially could happen before the end of the season. I mean, that's a real mess over there, a real standoff. But if he does come in, and, and that is a big if, it just completely changes this, the dynamic of this team completely. But if they don't get them and they don't manage to get this deal over the line, you're going to be asking all the players that Mack had mentioned and then Jude Bellingham and one or two others to step up. The Bellingham one's intriguing. What a class act this young man is, both on and off the field. Having been in Germany since a 16-year-old, in a foreign country, playing for a big club like Dortmund, carrying himself in the way he does, full England international, regular for England, and just... The way he's spoken at press conferences at Real Madrid, he speaks like a 28, 29-year-old that's been around the world 10 times. I'm so impressed by him, but now he's going to go and do it, and Maka knows this. You get to the Bernabeu, you get to Madrid, you can talk all you want. Now he's going to go and do it on the field, and that's where the pressure's going to come. Uh, would it make a difference to you, Maka, if Mbappe did come then? Would you say Real Madrid for the title again? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I mean, in a heartbeat. Because you're not talking about an average number nine here. You're talking about possibly the best player in the world at the moment in Kylian Mbappe. So if he joins Real Madrid and you've got a, a strike force of Vinicius, Mbappe and, and Rodrigo, I'd put them way, I'd put them winning the league by 10 points then. Okay, but I just think at this moment, if anything happened to Vinicius Junior, for instance, because Asensio's gone and people on the fringes have gone, you know, you're talking about Rodrigo and Hosselu and Brahim Diaz, who was at Milan last year and didn't really do that much there. You're talking about them leading one of the best teams in the world and I just cannot see that happening. So I'll reserve my judgment about Madrid until the transfer window closes and it'll be interesting to see how they get on tomorrow and if those people that I mentioned are used tomorrow and if they get an adverse result before the transfer window finishes, whether they're going to be almost forced to try and go to PSG and give them you know, a certain amount of money that, they, that, that they'll find acceptable. 
Come on, Maka, you've got a hotline to Florentino. He's got a hotline to everybody. That's He's right, got a speed dial. He's got speed <laughs> dial, Florentino <laughs> Perez. You, Mark, come on. Is he, are you hearing anything over there? Is, he, is, know, is it 50-50 or know, is it not going to happen? That, yeah, I think, as you said before, Craig, it's a little bit of cat and mouse. They want him, of course. Killian said he doesn't want to leave this year. But I think secretly, if the deal can get done before this transfer window ends, it'll put a mess. It'll put an end to this sorry saga of of PSG alienating with the B team. You know, Madrid do need a number nine. You know that. I know that. All everybody in the world knows they need a number nine. So it, you know, if he does come and they can do it in an amicable way, I think it'll be better for everybody concerned. All right, guys. Well, we're going to let you get some rest because we know it is rest, late there rest. in Bilbao. Listen, the night's just starting, hey, probably, for those two. They're going out. Yeah, I know, especially with the, with <laughs> the nightlife where they darky, are as well. Look at Darky. He's eager. Look at him. He's eager and ready Don't to Don't go, go too wild, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.